We're just in our bedroom now for clear out part number two, aren't we? And we're just saying goodbye to the past, so to speak. And we're um, getting rid of all this rubbish and stuff. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. My coat is actually soaking wet, so the yeah, boys went up to school okay this morning, which is great. So, um, Sammy's got PE today, which is really really good for to it. And Ben's actually going to the gym, he goes to the gym on a Tuesday, and he's actually really enjoying it. I'm not too quite sure if he lifts weights with help or goes on a bike, not doing the love. All I know is he's actually loving going to the gym as well. But anyway, yeah, so for me this morning, I'm just heading off down to the local. Church and I should get in my silly jab because it's always better to be safe and sorry. See what had his done through work a couple of weeks ago and the boys had theirs done at school as well for a couple of weeks ago. The boys actually had the flea jab up their nose. I was quite surprised they didn't have the proper one but it was, it was done up their nose so not absolutely fine. Like I said, it's always better to be safe and sorry because they reckon flu cases this year could be quite high and obviously I only found out a couple of weeks ago that I could actually get a free one because obviously I'm classed as Ben's carer as well. So, yeah, like I said, just get it done basically out to get out of the way. And yes, and also I have to be careful at the minute because where it's raining, where all the leaves are falling off the trees, it's really, really quite slippy. I'm really quite surprised they haven't picked some up, to be honest with you. So, then also once I've been to the post, um, been to at the, the local church I've got my flu jab I'm just popping off into the post office because Sammy's swapped a couple of pop badges so I need to send them off for him and then this afternoon we're going to try and get finished getting the rest of our bedroom done so, yeah, so I'm just back now from getting my flu jab and I got absolutely soaked as you can see there I've just hung my um coat up to dry so hopefully things cross that will dry but it's so simple so straightforward obviously I've booked it through the NHS website as well and like I said I was really quite surprised because I only booked it yesterday and obviously a clinic was there today so it was a clinic it was a walking COVID um, vaccination place as well so they were doing COVID-19 and also flu jabs but I only booked my flu jab for that so yeah then and then um to say I might have a sore arm for a couple of days and I might feel a bit tired and stuff later on this afternoon or I might have a couple of like mild flu like symptoms but apart from that should have nothing serious too which is great so yeah so anyway like I said because I got absolutely soaked I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea and warm up a little bit yeah because like I said the weather out there isn't exactly the nicest as well so
if I just open the door and um, you can see it's absolutely tipping it down with rain. You see if I put you on the path you can actually see it's actually starting to flood a bit there. Outside the front the water's just running away down the road. Water's coming out the drain because it just can't cope with the amount of rain in the minute. It's been raining on practically all day and even most of the night as well. Yeah, the garden's like a bog. I need to go down there and check my veggies but I'm going to wait until um, we get a try a bit at the moment. So yeah, so like I said, I'm glad I did, it wasn't raining as much or this heavy actually to be honest with you when I had to go out and get my jab and stuff. So anyway, yeah, can I close the door? Got a cup of tea waiting for me as well and then we're going to go upstairs and do a few more bits but yeah just hate it when it's grey, horrible and miserable like this. In our bedroom now for clear out part number two, aren't we? And we're just saying goodbye to the past, so to speak. And we're um, getting rid of all this rubbish and stuff, aren't we? Going to IKEA tomorrow to get the f to get the wardrobes I like. Sure. Show everyone down there those two tubs. What? These two tubs? Yeah. Yeah, how about them? What did you say to me yesterday? What was that? It's too many clothes. Yeah, but I'm saying that though, that wardrobe there is full of my clothes, so I'd have to think. We'll find out who's going to win the battle with more clothes. At the minute, you're winning, but like I said, I've got that wardrobe of mine to sort out as well, haven't I? So, yeah, so um, it's just funny actually because even just moved the wardrobe drawer slightly and it just fell apart in your hand, didn't it? I do not like Argos furniture, it is. But it's not very well made, is it? No. It's cheaply made. It's not strong enough either. It's not, is it? No. No. And how many people out there love IKEA furniture? Comment down below because you know you do. What's you, that? Like, I bet there's loads of people out there that like IKEA furniture. Comment down below. I know. You know one person who else likes IKEA furniture, don't you? Yeah, your sister. I know. <laughs> Yeah, bless her when she gets her new, uh, new house. I bet she's um, doing the yen, she? Yeah. Been to Ikea and stuff like that. She's always said to me she's seen some... Uh, yeah, has it come to point? Don't forget, they brought a new um, Ikea uh, TV stand, didn't they, from there? Which TV stand did they buy? The one we liked. The one that I want. Yeah. But they struggled to get it back in the car. Oh. So I don't think, well, I don't know. We might get in the old car just. Yeah, you'll have to duck. I know. I think we used to afford that online, I think. We'll just go to my get the, the wardrobes and the chest of drawers and stuff we want. So anyway, yeah, so I've got to clear up my wardrobe, find out all the rubbish and all the clothes and stuff i got in here. It's just crazy. I think before we put everything back, we're going to need to go through all this lot, aren't we? And see what we don't want. So, so yeah, obviously that's my bridesmaid dress from Becca's wedding last year. So I definitely want to keep that. So yeah, I got all these clothes. I think I might have. I think I might do a try on as well before we put look more back. Me. What do we look at me? What do you mean look at oh, me? Trying on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Steve was taking down the last of the wardrobe. That was my wardrobe, wasn't it? And how long we had that one? Who's not listening? You're right. You're right. Oh. Shatter look shattered. <laughs> I need a holiday somewhere nice, quiet, and relaxed. Where do you want to go? I don't know. <laughs> what? With us or without the kids? I don't know. <laughs> Are you on holiday next week? Yeah, that wouldn't be relaxing, would it? No, we're going to be busy. We've got lots of things to do next week, haven't we? So, um, but yeah, it's, you, like you say, you don't realise how much stuff you've got. In a room to clear it all like like we've done. Mm -hmm. Look how easy that's just fell apart. This is old. This is old, old. It is old, old, isn't it? Things it helped us out though when we needed it and stuff, though, didn't it? I believe how bad the time's running away this afternoon. I know it's quarter to three. It's scary how quick the time's actually going, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really, really is. So yes, yeah, so like I said, I've sorted all the clothes out. Um, like I said, let it skew the mess, you know, it's like when you try and organise rooms and stuff. So, yeah, so obviously you've got some of that when you're sorting out. We're not going to bother sorting that out because we want to change the um, best I cake tables as well, don't we? Yeah, everything's going to have a new lease of life in here. It is, isn't it? It needs it. Yeah. Really, really does. So, obviously, you know, these are my clothes here. My clothes are there and also got some clothes over there. So, I think I win the battle of clothes. We've got one hell of a tip run to do, not we? We have, actually. We're going to do that on Monday, yeah? yeah? It might take us a couple of attempts to do it. Yeah. But 
yeah anyway i had a couple of comments on the vlogs a couple of weeks ago about if i could share my reborn dolls off yeah i've only got three and obviously one of them holds real sentimental value and i'll tell you more about that in a second so yeah so um give them when i got these first give them when i got these out these were re these reborn dolls back out the other week so i was like didn't he he did, he did what he, got scared he did get scared and run away because i thought I tell what you thought about them i said some more about um having what happens if mummy or daddy have another baby he goes no 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 i don't want that did he but no no chance we don't want any more now obviously two is plenty and i'm too old to have any more now i'm 45 so You're never too old what do you mean never too old Yes, you are. But anyway, yeah, I'll show you my yes, reborn dolls. This is my first reborn doll. But it's not the first one I actually brought. This was the last one. This was Michael, the little striker. As you can see, he's like a little toddler uh, range. All the detail he's got on his eyes. So he's even got a little hat on it. And he's got two little teeth there as well. I know you can actually buy them like, with beaten hearts and stuff, can't you? But they're quite... I don't know if I could go like that age and stuff like that and obviously he's got little boots their little socks and his little arms and legs are actually poseable as well so you can put them like you want to take pictures with them and stuff i know some people actually take them up for walks don't they in like proper prams and stuff people dress them in proper clothes as well what <laughs> well no not in a way it's not i suppose not really obviously he did come like with a little ball thing there but obviously where i I've had them over the years. It's just gone funny in the box. And it's hard to know what to do with them because I don't want to get rid of them. But I just feel like they're wasted in the box, not doing anything. So maybe if I get a display cabinet full of those, maybe I could put these in with them. <coughs> so, but yeah, obviously it's from the Ashton Drake Galleries. Um, I'm not too quite sure they still do reborn dolls. I haven't looked in there, to be honest, with you, for ages. So yeah, so this is... Michael, this one. Yeah, and if I open up the box on this one, you can see the nice big box one. I've got the Ashton Drake Galleries again. These ones they all are. And this one is actually Baby Matthew. It's called Sweet Green Baby Matthew. It's got a certificate of authority here as well. Yeah, and you can see how like and how realistic these are. Well, I can see why Sammy got scared when I got that the other week, can't you? Because how realistic they are. And again, these ones actually are weighted like for a real baby size. And they've even got like a little nappy on here as well. In a little detail on his fingers, like little fingernails. And he's even got like little booties on there. So yeah, and they, when they first got them, they had like that newborn baby smell to them. Obviously, again, over the years, they've just fat in the boxes. And obviously, they they've come well packaged anyway. And there's that one there, Sweet Dreams, Baby Matthew. That's what it says on here. Sweet Dreams, Baby Matthew by Master Walt Trotan. This is a breakthrough in collector's doll industry. Um, I've noticed most really sit look. Each strand of Matthew's hair is directly applied. If I take his hat off, you can actually see his hair like that on there as well. So obviously he's got his hat on that protects his hair. Yeah, so and also you have to take extra care when you're like removing his clothes and stuff. But obviously this is what he actually came with, along with his little baby Matthew tag on this one. So yes, we've put that back in here. We have a corner. You got a corner? Oh, that's good. And then this one. Wow. This one holds. I haven't seen that corner in twelve years. <laughs> anyway, this one here holds very, very special. Um, personal memories me and Stephen. I don't know if we've actually mentioned it on the channel um but I think we might have mentioned it in passing and stuff I think it would have been she would have been about nine yeah she would have been 19 now 19 well not quite 19 end of November anyway yeah you can see this is baby baby Emily yeah, she holds, like I said, holds very very special personal memories she was the very first reborn doll I actually got, yeah, because obviously, like I said, 19 years ago, I actually lost a little girl. I'd been about 15, 16 weeks pregnant, and we called her Emily. So, of course, when I saw this one from the Ashton Drake series, I just had to get it. Not actually on, um, not to, obviously, it's nice to remember buying stuff like that, but 
quite hard to explain, but obviously when you've lost a baby or gone through a loss, it feels like, um, it's hard to explain. But anyway, like I said, I got Emily because I thought it would be something to help us remember. But obviously, we'll never forget her or nothing like that. And we do work, we do think, oh, what's she been doing now? What's she look like, etc., etc. et cetera. Yeah, but it's, so, oh, that's why it holds special personalised memories. And you can see that she had a little pillow that she come with as well. And this is, this is a little pamphlet she come with here. Just along there as well. And you can see she was from the Ashland Drake. And apparently there's quite a there was a series of the Emily dolls, but again I didn't get all of them, I just got the newborn one. Yes, yeah, so obviously Emily she come with a baby um certificate of authority and she also come home or she also come with these little things here as well. So yeah, that is my reborn dolls. Again, obviously you can see again. She had the delicate little fingernails there as well, and even her hair just here. She didn't have that. She didn't actually have a hat. But she's got like a little hair hair net there for her as well. So yeah, this is this. Like I said, this is the reason why I just can't get get rid of this Emily. And just like that, guys, that brings Tuesday's vlog to a close. Yeah, as we've done this afternoon, finally got shot of those old wardrobes that one of Cheryl was just folded up like a pack of cards it, it was that thin it just absolutely just like boom 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 <laughs> yeah um, I can see why they weren't sitting straight on the carpet because the carpet was all bobbled up I'm so I'm, I'm so looking forward to next Wednesday getting a proper professional carpet fitter in to do our new carpet and get rid of that old nasty horrible looking carpet that's been in there now for the last 12 years eh, so we'll... yeah so that carpet is going to be gone next wednesday and i can't wait to be honest with you guys it's going to be nice to have proper underlay proper carpet in that room and um i'm looking forward to it anyway yeah Sophie Howie, yeah, it's your birthday on Thursday, I believe. Isn't yeah, it? it is. So, yes, yeah, so a happy birthday. I uh, hope you have. As a you see this vlog right now, it will be Wednesday, Wednesday tomorrow. Yeah, so, happy, happy birthday, birthday for tomorrow. tomorrow. I hope you have a real, real lovely birthday. You get, you get spoiled and get some lovely presents. And a big thank you for becoming That's a member on our channel. channel. Yeah, yeah, thank you for being our channel member. Yeah, um, one thing that might be coming up in the new year, guys, is that you might become an early access for some of the uh, vlogs as well. Right? Definitely, yeah. If we can um, get back to the stage where we can get a couple of days in the vlogs like we have been doing, we'll upload days for channel members, not me. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Catching up for Christmas so we don't fall behind and you see Christmas Day two days later. I know, yeah. But anyway, speaking of Christmas, um, our Christmas activity start on Saturday, didn't they? Yeah, hopefully not raining. Hopefully not. I'm not going to tell you where we're going and what we're doing. Also, it's like I said, you have to watch the vlogs to find out. But I think we've looking at the calendar. We've got something planned every Saturday or every Sunday now until Christmas. I'm going to get some petrol into Ben's car then. <laughs> you ought to. to. You ought to actually. I know yeah. Ben's car's going to um, take a hit with petrol and stuff in it. So it is. Yeah. It really is. Anyway, guys. Yeah. Love the video. So I'll say like the video. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.